Alright, uh, we are wrestling with the New Japan G1 Climax 32, um, week 3, I believe? I don't know. Uh, I believe so. But, uh, we're in the long stretch, and we're just gonna go over the block, uh, matches, uh, so far. Um, A block, Kuzuchiko Okada is, um, in first. No soft there, he has six points, with, uh, wins over Yano, Jeff Cobb, and Kale. Yano is at two points. He's eliminated from A block. That's Super shocking, considering the ones he's had in previous one. No, because it's it's because his his matches are based on chance, right? So it's like if he able to pull his shtick, he'll win, and if he doesn't, he doesn't. And he has he didn't have enough chances due to the breakup of the blocks for him to make it effective, if that makes sense. No, it does. So, this is kind of an effect of the blocks being uh, smaller this year. Yeah, because keep in mind, he could easily come back and if it was one big block and be kind of middle of the pack, but based on that block, you got, I mean, Maybe he'll be uh, tied with Jonah, but that block was always the Okada block anyway. Yeah, nobody expected um, Yeah, nobody expected anybody else but Okada to win. Right. Um, how did now we've been previewing and reviewing a bit, um New Japan G One for a couple of weeks now. Um. It's kind of sporadic because we have A block and B block and B block and C block all in the same night rather than one night dedicated to one block. Um, how have you and how have you liked it? Put can um, opposed to you know doing A block one night, B block the next. <sighs> I think they were doing that to try to just throw it off kilter so that way the that the blocks won't be as predictable you know what i mean because you know how the blocks are going to go based on how those people perform that one night because because you know how like the the world cup they do all that they do it all in one second right like block block whatever action does that one night but you kind of get an idea of what's going to happen after that, right? Would you really be invested in A block if you knew in one night Okada would have been in the lead? I mean, we've been we've been used to Okada I mean, from being a, in the lead for the last what five years. True, but I'm just saying it. It gives it more mystique because keep in mind, Fale was at one point and still is in the running. So, it, it, you know what I mean? It yeah, kind of makes it. Jeff Cobb has uh, four points um, with three match, um, with three more matches to go. So he is in it as well. Right. Only has He's two. in it. Jonah's in it, surprisingly. Uh, Jonah hasn't had that many matches. He still has three matches to go. I know. So, think about it. So, Oka the, the clear head is Okada. You got, um, really the only person who's eliminated is Yano. I mean, everybody else could kind of make a run. Um, Tom Lolo, I feel, is eliminated. I mean, yes, but it's tech. Until he's actually eliminated. He's only had three matches. But he's got a while ago. And that's why I I think that's why they did it. Because based on the result, you could say, oh my god, he's got like three matches left. Or this person's got two matches left. So it 
you can see how, you know what I mean? Yeah. The implication. Well, uh, tomorrow, the 7th, um, Okada's back in block play. He's wrestling Jonah. Who do you see winning that match? Personally, Okada, because... But it makes it interesting, interesting if Jonah wins because he gets the tiebreaker. Ha ha ha. Not only he would be, not only would he tie, but he would have the tiebreaker head to head. Interesting. And I mean, Okada has to lose at least one, right? He would have to lose one, but what if that one is to Jonah and he needs Jonah to lose? And. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I'm like, it, you see what I'm saying? And you won't, and that suspense would keep you built every night because now you can see, oh my God, Jonah's going to fight X, but X lost to Okada. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. The same so night, that's why. The same night we got Tom Lolo versus Scott Left Collars. Who do you see winning that match? Kale. Come on, uh, you know, I feel like Lola needs to go on a, he he lost three in a row. He needs a or two in a row. Uh, you know, he needs to go on a bit of a run. I mean Yano isn't getting a win over Yano isn't going to be a reason to fly over to Japan for a month. You must then see what happened to Juice the first time in the G one. <laughs> This is a whole other story. Um, on the ninth, uh, Jonah is wrestling Lance Archer. Who wins that match? Ooh, this is interesting because it's that middle of the pack. I'm gonna go Archer because I don't see Jonah beating Okada. But I have put it this way: if Jonah beats Okada, he's losing to Archer. You're probably right about that. Um. I feel like this is a Jonah win. So that means you have to lose to Okada. On the 10th, we got Okada versus Tom Lolo. Next. Wow, not giving Tom anything. It's that break in, man. You know, it's either, I kind of feel like either Lolo or Jonah are going to be the guys that give Okada that, that first L. Since you're going but, with Jonah on the 7th, I'll go with Lolo on the 10th. If Lolo beats Okada, it would have to be after the fact Okada then eliminated everybody. Because it wouldn't matter. Right. Alright, uh, we got B Block. Um, it's a one man uh, show right now with Jay White at six points. Um, people that are still in contention are Tamatanga and Sonata at four points. Um, Tomohiro Ishii, uh, Tai Chi, Guido Khan, and Chase Owens all at two. Um, Guido Khan a little disappointing, no? Mm, not really. I mean, if there was a tough block, this would have been a tough block, right? Yeah. Because this is, other than what, Owens and Ishii, you could have made a, a reason for everybody else to win. So, uh, Sonata's still in the running, as I hoped. Um, so, Jay White got to get caught slipping for Sonata to pull it out, but I think Sonata can pull it out. All right. Um, well, we got Tomohiro Ishii versus uh, Chase Owens uh, tomorrow on the 7th. Um, who wins? I feel like they'll get a bone. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? Uh, Chase Owens. Oh, really? Go on with Ishii. Yeah, they, they, they give him a bone. I feel like he got a bone. <laughs> really? 
NWO for Okan. I mean, is that really a... Yes. Um, on the ninth, um, we got Sonata versus, uh, Chase Owens. Who wins, Kalito? Sonata. Don't play. It seems like Sonata is sending people to slaughter than actually getting slaughtered this year, no? I mean, I told you, if he loses Jay White, he's winning the block. Yeah. Because <laughs> there's no way he could... Beat Jay White, win the block, and get a title shot. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Um, also on the ninth, uh, Tamatango versus Tai Chi. Who wins? Ooh, Tuffy. Uh. <sighs> tai Chi. Because you can't, I mean, Tonga technically bullet clubbish. Um. I think Tonga's revenge is going to be on White. Uh, so Tai Chi. Wait, he has to lose a couple, right? Yeah. And could that possibly be on the 10th as well against Great Khan? Who? Uh, Jay White? Tonga Tonga. Oh, uh. Now he'll win that one. I would, I, I would kind of go in reverse. I would say he beats Tai Chi and he loses to Okan. Because <laughs> Okan needs to get something going for himself. It's kind of pathetic at this point. I mean, they only got like uh, several matches left. If you're pathetic now, you're going to be pathetic and so it's, <laughs> it ain't like uh, the two blocks where you can at least end it on a good note. <laughs> you pathetic, you pathetic. That's what I like about this because it separates the best from the rest. Oh, um, we got um, Sipa. We got three men at um, four points. That's uh, Hiroshi Tanahashi, Hiroki Goto, and uh, Zack Sabre Jr. Uh, Tetsuya Naito, Aaron Hanai, Kenta, and Evil all at two points. Um, this is probably the most balanced out of all the blocks at this point. Because, you know, Naito could make a run, Kenta could still make a run, they're not exactly out of it at this point. Um, what's your thoughts on, you know, the symmetry of this one? It makes sense because it's got, what, three G1 winners in Goto, Naito, and Tanahashi, so it, those three experiences balances out the rest. Right, so if, if this is the if anybody can win it, point. <laughs> well, uh, Aaron Hanari has uh, evil on the seven. Uh, how do you see that one going? Damn, um, I feel like evil needs it more. And I could see how, you know, um, um, uh, Dick Togo getting involved in the rest of House of Torture. Yeah. Um, on the ninth, Kenta versus, uh, Tetsuya Naito. That could really go any way at this point, but, um, Whoever loses is probably getting eliminated. So he wins. You said Kenta versus Naito. Yeah. Eey. It would have to be Kenta, right? Because we we said 
Uh, we said that uh, what's his face is dipping. Naito. We said it. We said Naito is winning the damn. Is not winning this block. I think we both have Tento winning the block. I think we all have. Yeah. We said if anybody from Bullet Club was going to win it, it would have to be Kanto. Oh, no, 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 no. Then also you have Juice in the uh, next block. He blocked, yeah. The blocks. Sure. It's interesting. It can't be a Bullet Club final. Um, I'd like to say Sonata will you, win B block. But see, I think if if Juice wins, he breaks. He does two two things: a Bullet Club member and a Gaijin. Yeah. Two. Uh, two so that's why we think. Two birds with a stone, so it would have to be Naito then. Right. Uh, next uh, match is uh, on the 10th, Hiroshi Tanahashi versus Goto. Who wins that one? Tanahashi. Ooh. Yeah, Tanahashi. Yeah. On the 10th, we got Zack Sabre Jr. versus Evil. Mm. Zack Sabre Jr. versus Evil. <sighs> Zack Sabre Jr. He's 50 50, man. Come on. I know how he rolls. Yeah, but you okay, know. Evil is. Evil, and he has interference. So that's kind of why I'm, you know, questioning can Zach overcome those odds? If anybody wants to be Mr. 50 50 Booking, it would be him. You know, he has to drop one. He always dropped one, but if he has to drop another, Evil would be a, a suitable one. So, uh, Evil. Gotta be Kenta. Alright, and we got D block action. Taking that good D block action. Um, David Finley is leading the block uh, with six points. Uh, Will Ospreay is at four points. Um, uh, Yoshihashi, Shingo Takage, Juice Robinson, El Fantasmo, and Yujiro. Or all at two points. Um, Kaliko, your thoughts on Yoshihashi? Fuck Yoshihashi. But the fact that Yoshihashi is at the bottom almost makes me happy. But it also shows you, oh man, this is this is crazy because this is juice into Kagi at the bottom, and that and uh, it, it's. Kind of, kind of getting sticky for Juicy. Um, yeah. You could definitely see that. Um, but he still has... He has one match left? No, he has two matches. No, he's, uh... He had one the other day that we did not cover because... I don't think any of us seen it yet. Um... But he does have uh, El Fantasmo on the seven. How do you see that one? Really? Juice would have to win. In order, it, it's must at this point. Well, let's say he uh, the match that I spoke about was against Yujiro. So I mean, he's beating Yujiro, and that would take him to six. In order right. for him to get one over on David Finley, um. David Finley would have to lose on the 10th against El Fantasma. That is the case, but I... 
it's weird how they're trying to book this grouping because Finley's in the and I told you this was like the 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 oddball one because Finley had something to prove. Yeah. And I know we didn't go over it, but he beat Will Osprey. And which is why he and Zeus. And exactly. So if that's not screaming a possible he might be the Gaijin. <laughs> He so, might be the guy. If he's the guy, <laughs> then Kenta wins. Sheba. True. But, but I mean, it's definitely this opportunity to build him to be a top guy to star and. You know, it'd be interesting to see, you know, outside of the G1, how does he maintain this this momentum that they gave him? Um, I think it would only be in Japan because of the stories there. Well, yeah. And, and so let's see, he beat, he beat Osprey, he beat, jo he beat the people who we thought he would get ran over through. Other than Juice. I thought Juice, Juice was the one. Yeah. But, but, I mean, let's look at Juice's back half of the schedule and, and see where he's going to have to deal with because that's where it is. So he's got the El Phantasmo match. Um, he, He's gonna need. He's got El Phantasmo. That's it. Oh, so he's done. He's fucking done. He can't, he can't win. Uh, you haven't played Osprey yet. Uh, uh yeah, Osprey. he's one in three. And he has three. Well, two. Um. So, I mean, he has an opportunity. Um, it's just a matter of, he has to, uh, Finley has to at least drop one for uh, Phantasmo. I think Yoshihashi is what? But even if Juice does that, even if Finley does that, the points and the Finley would have him on the record and the tiebreaker. So I end the head to head. That's right. So it's all but a wrap for our guy Juice. I mean, who had David Finley winning the D block? Fuck out of here because, uh, Two former heavyweight champions and uh, hot as shit, Jesus Robinson with the El Phantasmo light champ, uh, former champ. Like, shit, this is like the U.S. title block. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, everybody said Yoshihashi, right? And you do. What? Oh, but you shall see, sir. Alright. Um, I think that will conclude our G1 coverage for, um, now.